basic structure of project is to apply for second opinions and for the professionals to actually learn from the project these are the main features of a web website so whenever a user submits the form as it displayed in the flow that first the second opinion is filled by the user through this form only then the second opinion form is verified by the doctor that the quality of the report is okay then the user make payment of the second opinion report that the doctor has just verified and after the verification the doctor uploads a response which is sent to the user via email well, basic training videos case based discussions and advanced learning lectures this is the doctor dashboard if you open any sections then he uploads uh, then he chooses to upload a response for example uh, right now i will choose any pdf that i have i will choose this as the file i upload it so if i just download this report it will redirect me to the report the doctor uploaded from the other tab i just uploaded well when we are receiving web books like we need to be specific what type of response the site is sending and what sort of response we need to send like for the razor pay webhook gateway we just needed to uh, submit a response 200 like which means okay we have received the response and everything is okay on our side so that is what was needed and we had a lot of errors facing the document objects that were sent through razor pay webhooks in django there is a field like for uh, many to many fields uh, in the database where we had to actually save the relations uh, from one table to another inside the relations we needed to actually store the sequence right so for, to show the sequence uh, the django does not actually provide sequencing in m2 m that is why we needed an extra library that is where we found on uh, stack overflow stack overflow helped us a lot overall in the project as the community is quite large and django framework is used by many people there so you can find many solutions on the internet about django if you know about the documentation of django it is very great and very helpful if you understand it quite it is very simple to learn if you know a little bit of django and if you read in depth then you can actually become master through documentation only you need not buy any courses the particular channel for uh, youtubes like uh, that i watched was dennis ibby so that person like uh, has many playlists on django so he actually uh, like uh, explains in depth fields uh, in depth fields of django that are like many to many relations and uh, that are like uh, creating signals in uh, django and that are like managing views in django i actually do not quit until i complete the project or complete the problems that i am facing so that was a particular skill set i learned about myself after i participated inside the internship so i would recommend everyone to actually take the internships from e intra <laughs>